Welcome to the Hypercure Animation. The foundation to the body all begins down in our feet, which are extremely important in order to maintain proper balance and weight distribution. The osseous alignment of the hind foot bones is crucial in order to maintain its function. Partial displacement of the talus or ankle bone on the hind foot bones or the tarsal mechanism is responsible for excessive hind foot motion or overpronation, which is referred to also as hyperpronation. This then leads to the collapse of the sinus tarsi and a tremendous amount of strain is then placed on the structures of not only the foot and ankle, but then this will lead to excessive motion at the knee, the hip, pelvis, all the way up the spine, and even our neck and shoulders can be adversely affected all because of this excessive hind foot motion. We offer to you HyproCure Solution. This is an internal uh, solution for our internal problem. It's made out of titanium and it acts as a stent to stabilize the ankle bone on the hind foot bones in order to maintain the proper balance and weight distribution. External modalities have a hard time doing this, which is why this makes the best, m makes the most amount of sense. It's made out of medical grade titanium and unlike other previous devices that could fragment, Hypercure will not. The chance of having an allergic reaction to titanium is extremely low. It's also cannulated for, for um, uh, ease of positioning. The Hypercure procedure uh, is minimally invasive and you can see how exactly this is placed into the uh, on the calcaneus. It's extra articular. This is not put into a joint but in between joints. Then we can take a look at the position of Hypercure on the undersurface of the talus. Due to the unique design of Hypercure, it is the only medially anchored device and therefore has a significantly lower removal rate from any other sinus tarsi stent. These are the trial sizers and driver needed for the procedure. This is performed through a minimally invasive procedure as either a local sedation or even a uh, uh, local anesthetic just put into the foot. A small incision is made over the sinus tarsi, and at this point, um, superficial and blunt dissection is carried down through the sinus tarsi. A guide wire is placed within the canalis and sinus portions, and then a trial sizer is inserted. This will then determine which size hypercure stent will be used to stabilize the talus and the tarsal mechanism. The surgeon will put the foot through a range of motion, and the goal is to have some motion occurring, not limited and not excessive. So the average amount is about four degrees of pronation. The various trial sizers make the sizing process streamlined and very efficient, unlike other uh, devices that are on the market, which can lead to further trauma to the tissues. So once the size is determined, then it is quite simply then placed onto the guide wire and we'll see this in a second and we'll just basically push the stent into place we'll give it a couple of spins usually to lock it into the deep tissues which will then take about a good three to four weeks to lock and anchor the hypercure into the sinus tarsi the chance of displacement after three to four weeks is less than one percent we still have the normal amount of motion occurring of the talus on the tarsal mechanism we have realigned the ankle bone, eliminated the excessive forces that have been acting on the foot and ankle. In addition to all of that, we have also then eliminated the excessive torquing motion that's been occurring to the knee and hip, straightening the pelvis as well as the spine. Hypercure, changing lives one step at a time.